Good day everyone! In this video lesson, we will discuss about tangent and second segments. Okay, here are the theorem and two intersecting chords. So first, if two chords of a circle intersect, then the product of the measure of the segments of a chord is equal to the product of the measure of the segment of the other chord. So, uh, as you can see in the illustration class, no, makikita natin. So, ang sabi dito, if your uh, yung line segment natin na CB, okay, and intersect the line DE, okay, yung line segment natin na DE at point F. So, from the theorem, so, ang is Sabi dito sa theorem natin that uh, CF times FB is equal to the product of DF and FE. So again, so kapag kukunin natin class, okay, let's say, uh, kuku based on the theorem, ag ulitin ko lang, kapag yung line segment CB natin nag-intersect at uh, the line segment DE, so dun sa in, in the interior of the circle, no? Sa loob ng circle, ibig sabihin, so CF times FB is equal to DF times FE. So, for example, class, so find the length of the unknown segment in each of the following figures. So, applying the theorem, yung sa kaninang slide. So, let's say, meron tayong line segment na ON, nag-intersect, no? in our uh, PQ. Okay. Now, uh, as you can see, class, as you can see, meron tayong given measure na ito, ito. Yung OR natin is 6, and then yung RN natin is 4, and then yung PR natin is 3, and then yung RQ yung hinahanap. So, ito yung RQ yung hinahanap natin. So, applying the Theorem, no, sabi kanina that yung OR times RN is equal to uh, PR. So, this is PR class. Okay. This is PR. Kasi center yung M dyan eh. So, OR times RN is equal to PR times RQ. So, substitute lang natin yung given natin that 6 times 4 is equal to 3 times x. So, simplify. 6 times 4 is 24. And 3 times x is 3x. To solve for x, divide both sides by 3. So, 24 divide 3, the answer is 8. So, ibig sabihin yung distance from R to Q, that is 8 units. Next, if we have this figure, VZ or VW no, intersects a UT natin. So, yung measure from V to Z, that is 12, and Z to W, that is 4, U to Z, that is X. So, ito yung hinahanap natin, yung distance from U, from point U to point Z. And point Z to T, that is 6. So, apply the theorem. So, VZ times ZW is equal to UZ times ZT. So, 12 times 4 is equal to uh, UZ, that is X. So, that is X dapat dito times 6. Okay? So, and then simplify. 12 times 4, that is 48. So, 6 times X, that is 6X. And divide to solve for X, divide both sides of the equation by 6. So, 48 divide 6, the answer is 8 units. External Secant segment. So, an external secant segment is the part of a second segment that is outside a circle. So, for example, in this figure, so, ano yung mga external secant segment natin? So, yung external secant segment natin dito, if yung line CA natin intersect line EA, so, itong dalawang line na to, they are secants. Ano? And then, yung external secant segment dito is yung segment BA and segment DA. So, ito, yung nandito sa labas class. So, again, yung external second segment nitong figure na to is yung line, ay yung segment BA and segment DA. Okay, for example, 
Name the external secant segments in each of the following figures. So, in the first illustration class, so, ano yung uh, external secant segments natin dito? Yes, yung uh, line segment FDN, line segment FE. How about this one? Yes, madali lang identify. So, line segment ML and line segment MI. How about in this figure? Is uh, Since class, as external secant segments yung kinukuha natin, so itong line na to ay hindi secant yan ha? That is a uh, tangent, no? So therefore, ano lang yung external secant segment natin? Yung line segment OR lang. Kasi yung PR hindi siya. Kasi tangent to. Okay? How about in this figure? Okay. So dito class, tingnan nyo maigi. Okay? Yung mga line, uh, yung mga external secant segment dito is yung GD lang. Kasi ito, tangent na to eh. And then, itong BF. Okay? Yung line segment BF. Kasi itong EF natin, tangent din to. So, it, since secant, uh, external secant segments yung kinukuha natin, so yung ano lang dito sa figure na is yung uh, line segment GD and line segment BF. How about in this figure? So, ano yung mga external secant segment natin? Yes. Yung OJ, ito, yung line segment OJ and line segment OR kasi uh, itong line na to ay secant. And then, yung line segment LQ and TQ. Okay, kasi itong linya na to ay lines uh, secant then And then, yung IN, so yung IN natin, saka, so yung PN ay hindi sila, ay hindi siya line, hindi siya external secant. Kasi, uh, itong line na to is tangent. Another external second segment is yung line segment SM. Ito. Okay. So, theorems on secant segments, tangent segments, and external second segments. Okay. First, meron lang tayong dalawa. Meron talang dalawang theorem dito. First is, if two secant segments are drawn to a circle from an exterior point, then the product of the lengths of one secant segment and its external second segment is equal to the product of lengths of the other secant segments and its external second segments. So as you can see in the figure class, so sa madaling sabi, para makuha natin ito, so yung OM natin sa QM are second segments drawn to a circle from an exterior point, yung point M natin, so, from the theorem, OM, so yung measure nito, yung distance from O to M, from, uh, mula sa point O to M, times uh, the distance from point O to N is equal to the distance from Q to M times PM, or from point P to M. So, ito class, itong buo na to, itong mula dito hanggang dito, times nito. Okay? And then, equals yung buo nito times ito. So, yan yung sinasabi ng theorem natin. So, halimbawa, meron tayong given dito. So, from point D to point F, that is 16. So, from point C to F, that is X. Okay? Ito yung external secant segment natin. And then, dito sa kabila, sa, uh, sa kabilang second natin, so, from point E to B, that is 10, and point B to F, that is 8. So, kukunin natin yung value ng X. So, from the theorem, that is DF, okay, times CF is equal to EF times BF. So, substitute lang natin, 16 times X is equal to 18 times 8. So, 16 times X, 18 times 8 is 144. To solve for x, divide both sides by 16. So, 144 divided by 16, the answer is 9 units. How about in the second figure? Okay, so yung given natin from the first uh, line, yung, uh, yung, 
ito, yung li natin. So, yung i, point i to l, that is 6 plus x, no? 6 plus x. And then, yung from point j to l, that is x. Dito naman sa kabila, from h to l, that is, pag in natin to that is 14. And then, from k to l, that is 6. So, apply the theorem, and then substitute. Yung i, l natin, since uh, hindi natin alam kung ano pa yung value ng x, so 6 plus x siya, times x is equal to 14 times 6. And that is, so distribute natin yung x dito. So, x times 6, that is 6x. x times x, that is x squared. 14 times 6, that is 84. And then, lipat natin. So, meron tayong quadratic. No? May quadratic tayo. So, you can apply the quadratic formula. So, kung i-apply yung quadratic formula, makukuha nyo doon yung negative 3 plus the square root of 93 and that is equivalent to 6.64. At yung isa naman, negative 3 minus the square root of 93, that is negative 12.64. Since class, uh, we are not allowed to have a distance, no? Hindi tayo pwede na magkaroon ng uh, distance na negative, so with disregard, negative 12.64. So, therefore, the length of x is 6.64 units. Okay, the last theorem, if a tangent se uh, segment and a second segment are drawn to a circle from an exterior point, then the square of the length of the tangent segment is equal to the product of the lengths of the second segment and its external second segment. Okay, so for example, if your line YU is a second segment drawn to the circle from exterior point U, and then yung VU is a tangent segment that is also drawn to the circle from the same exterior point U. So, from the theorem class, so that is, VU, yung line, yung tangent natin, VU squared is equal to YU times XU. Okay, so apply natin yung theorem na to. So, based on the uh, illustration, yung VU natin is X. And then, yung YU natin, so kapag in natin 16 plus 9, that is 25. And then, yung from X to U, that is 9. So, applying the formula, so VU, that is X squared. So, papalitan lang natin yung VU ng X natin. Since may squared tayo, that is X squared. And then, yung YU natin is 25. Bakit? 16 plus 9, that is 25, times 9. And X squared is equal to 225. So, extract natin yung roots kasi naka-squared tayo. Okay, so x is equal to the square root of 225. And square root of 225, that is 15 units. Another example, if we have your, uh, ito yung point of, na, yung line natin, ito yung tangent, no? That is 10, tapos ito, this is x, and then ito naman ay 25. So, paano natin kukunin yung value ng x? So, apply the theorem. So, a squared is equal to B times C. Okay? So, since uh, yung B times C natin, that will become what? Okay, dapat add natin. No? So, dapat i-add natin. So, okay, wait lang, class. Okay, class. So, balikan natin yung ano natin. Okay, dito sa pangalawang figure natin, so, itong buong line nito that is 25, okay? And then, ito, from here up to down, that is x, okay? So, uh, by applying the theorem, so, a squared is equal to b times c, or that is uh, b plus c, dapat, no? b plus c, okay? So, dapat b plus c. Okay, so that is B plus C times B. So, yung B plus C natin, that is 25 times X kasi yung B natin is X. So, that is 10 squared, that is 100. So, yung A natin is 10. And then, 10 squared is 100 is equal to 25X. To solve for X, divide both sides of the equation by 25. So, 100 divided 25, that is 4. So, X is equal to 4 units. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. 
Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.